schedule for this game. Lakota sends a ball in. Dangerous play. Oh, oh save! Oh, Lakota player makes a diving header, and Pedro Diaz comes out of nowhere and makes a beautiful save. It's going to be a corner kick. Wow. This was a dangerous ball that bounced at the six. Lakota let it go through, and they had a wide open player heading it in, and Pedro dives and makes a beautiful save. He was able to get the ball forward, but not up. No. Tremendous save. That was the most dangerous shot of the game. I think it's Jose Corona for. Yes, yeah, number six, Jose Corona will be the first kicker for the Lakota West. Pedro's clapping his hands. We'll see what happens here. Connors dejected that ball didn't go in, but it was a well struck ball. He struck it well. It was it was gonna be in the net. He just guessed the right way. We'll see how this goes. So Jose's ready. We have the whistle. Joe kicks it right at Pedro, and Pedro makes a wonderful save. No goal. So it's all tied up at 0-0 now. Pedro guessed right, dove to his lower left. Here's the car, and he makes a beautiful save. Joe didn't strike it as hard as uh, Connor did, but he, we need uh, a ball off a post or a miss or a Pedro save here to get us back into a tie. Lakota has a slight advantage in that they, uh, they still have the kicker to go, their third kicker. Pedro lines up on the line. We have the whistle. And Pedro makes a beautiful save. He dives towards the player, straight off to the side, and makes a wonderful save. And now it's all knotted up, folks. We're at 3-3, and we have a sophomore. No, Connor, junior. Uh, John, junior. Connor Cusho. Junior, I'm sorry. Junior. Connor Cusho is going to take the fourth kick for Mason. They had a heartache. They did. I think everybody, all the fans had a heartache. It hit the inside post and just went in. So that puts Mason up now by one goal. And there it is, hits the post, and just goes into the goal. So Mason. now, Pedro needs to come up big right now for Mason. So Mason Kaiser takes smiling. a Mason's taking four kicks, Lakota West three. If Pedro can save this one, it could come down to the next kick. Again, he's setting up, dropping back to his spot. The Lakota West player gets the whistle, comes on. And Pedro makes a wonderful save! Wonderful save by Pedro Diaz! We've oh. got drama here. Here we have drama, folks. Robbie Noah. Bromwell, who Rob has not played in the game, is now it's in on his foot. Robbie was in at the end of the game. Oh, was he? Okay. Goal, but Robbie Bramwell has been picked to take the kick. And Robbie was hurt for a lot of the season. And with Noah going down, it all comes down to this. Mason winning by one, sudden death for Lakota West on this kick. If this ball goes in, we go to another kicker. If it doesn't go in, this ball game's over. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any better than this. Can Pedro make another save? You gotta figure Lakota's uh, wondering, what am I gonna do with him? He saved him to the right, he saved him to the left. This is Dave Petrusky. Uh, I believe it was their second leading scorer for the season. Uh, yeah, Dave had 10 goals on the season, so this would be a big goal to keep him in the game. Pedro set. We have the whistle. Pedro Diaz! Pedro Diaz! Makes the one! Makes the one! Makes the one! The state champion! Oh my goodness! Pedro Diaz! Four seconds! What a win for the Mason Cup! They go on to the state semifinals. Mason Comets win. And wow. Congratulations to Lakota West. They had a wonderful season, but it was one game short. What goalkeeping in the overtime? We'll, okay. we'll see you. We'll see you in the finals. The girls team has just shown up. They're all jumping up and down. The fans of Mason fans. Was wow. Fast and <laughs> Coach Randy. Hey, this is karma. Last year we lost this way. This year we take it this way. Congratulations to the Mason Comets. We'll see you next week. Wait, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh. We're out, folks, because we're going to the other side to celebrate. Thanks, guys. All right.
everybody's patience, finally we have Pedro Diaz. Uh, as I thought about this night, uh, immediately what came to mind when I thought about, you know, Pedro was the first time that I met Pedro. And uh, the story there is he was actually in, in eighth grade and his dad had contacted me, wanted to meet uh, to talk about, you know, uh, Mason soccer and you know, they're trying to make a decision of whether Pedro was going to attend Mason or maybe go elsewhere. And little did I know when we sat down to meet uh, those years back when he was in eighth grade, uh, just how talented a player, a goalkeeper uh, that we had in our middle school. And, uh, you know, so we talked about you know, what I envision uh, for a talented goalkeeper. And <clears throat> certainly, as Pedro came to the, the high school, uh, he started to distinguish himself right away. And especially in a position where we had had some struggles prior to Pedro, uh, you know, he just uh, stepped in as the JV green keeper as a ninth grader, uh, helped that team have a tremendous year, and then, you know, this was his third year of varsity soccer. Um, you know, I, I could go on and on about Pedro, uh, but I will say this. There can be no doubts whatsoever, and I think Coach Schaefer, who's been around for quite some time, there can be no doubt that this young man, far and away, is the best goalkeeper that we've had here at Mason. Uh, you know, he's consistently uh, shown that talent, but also the dedication, uh, a lot of the intangibles. Uh, being a goalkeeper is a very difficult position to play. You take a lot of knocks every day in practice. Uh, you know, we love practicing on turf, but it's hard for keepers to, to dive time after time. And he doesn't take any shots off. Uh, he's always challenging himself to try to save everything that our players send his way. Um, and, and you know, his leadership uh, in the off season, it became very apparent who the leader on the team was. Uh, and that's not easy to handle that role in a way that's not overbearing. Uh, and still have the respect of your teammates, but Pedro was able to do that, and it's a credit to him as a person. Uh, you know, and, you know, finally, you know, the Lakota West game. Uh, the penalty kick shootout, you know, I, I didn't look forward to it, but I did feel good about having our goalkeeper. And uh, I was hoping, you know, we would make more of our shots, but to their credit, their goalkeeper made some outstanding saves. But I've watched a lot of soccer over the years, and I don't think I've ever seen a goalkeeper save four penalty shots that were gonna go in. And the fashion in which he did it, it was dramatic, it was to both sides. Um, it was an unbelievable, unbelievable display, and it's one that I'll never forget. And, uh, you know, I think if any player is gonna, you know, basically will his team to victory in a regional championship, uh, I'm certainly glad that it was Pedro, because I think he had paid his dues and had played so well for such a long time in a critical position that you know, even though it was more dramatic than I would have preferred, I, I, as it was all said and done, I was just glad that this was the young man that really brought home that regional championship trophy uh, for the first time to Mason High School. Uh, <clears throat> with that being said, uh, I just want to say, Pedro, I'm extremely glad and grateful that you chose to come to Mason High School. Uh, the mark that you've made here 
uh, is one that I will always remember. So thank you very much. <laughs>